Hey guys, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And doing the uh, conference championship predictions. Liz swept because the stupid Browns let me down. Losing a game they should have easily won, considering how much they were gifted in that game. With Mahomes going out, but whatever. The Browns blew it. Actually, it ended up being like the most competitive game. <laughs> Pretty weird. much. Weird. Um, Bills at the Chiefs, though. It's close. Apparently Mahomes cleared concussion protocol. From what I read, he didn't have a concussion. He had a pinched nerve. Oh, well, that would explain it. But too. he also has turf toe and he can't move. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think the Bills are a better team, frankly. I, I like the Bills better defensively. And I think, uh... Offensively, they're going to be able to keep up with the Chiefs, so I'm taking the Bills. Yeah, I think for the Chiefs, the, the advantage would be they're playing at home. Yeah, but they've also already beaten Buffalo once, and are they going to beat top two team twice in one year? New, England, really used to, New England used to do it. Yeah, but it's pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, just ask the Saints how trying to beat the Buccaneers three times in one year went. Yeah, I don't know. I just like Buffalo better. I like Buffalo better, too, and I'd love to see them in the Super Bowl. This decision is tricky. I don't know who I want to pick. Do I want to pick the team that's got... The Chiefs are favored by the three. home seed, The home field advantage, or do I want to pick the underdog to win? It's also quite difficult to repeat Super Bowl. I'm going to pick the Bills. Yeah, I think the Bills are going to win. Hopefully Josh Allen just doesn't have a conniption at the end of the game and almost blow it. I don't think so. He <clears throat> kind of got that out of his system the first game. I mean, the defense was, was really good last week. I have to pour a little bit. There we go. So, I get the... We have a visitor who just jumped on the table. So, she may... So, Bucks at Packers. This is an interesting one. Brady. So, Antonio Brown got ruled out of the game because of a knee injury. Hello, That's baby. Unfortunate, but it's also not relevant. Not that relevant. Because the Bucks have so many freaking. They have a million good receivers. good players on. Their their defense is the part that I question versus Green Bay's defense. They dominated them last time. It was like thirty-five to ten. The Bucks did or Green Bay? Oh, the Bucks. They dominated Green Bay in Week Six, but that was a fluky game. I mean, Rogers threw a pick six. The. Packers are like the number one ranked defense, right? Offense. Offense. <sighs> I'm not betting against Brady in the playoffs. I don't care who he's playing. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's the game will be at Green Bay. It's Brady. I mean, he finds I mean, ways. I mean, it's... they were down in that Saints game, and he brought them back. That's what he does. Yeah, I. Uh... I think I'm going the same direction. I can't. I have to pick Brady. Yeah. Just I, seeing what he's done in the pla the playoffs over the past 20 years, it's... I think they're both 50-50 games. They are. They're both toss-ups. I mean, I could have picked the Chiefs and I could have picked the Packers, right? Yeah. I think they're the four best teams in the NFL. No question. I just... Knowing Brady's been to how many Super Bowls? <laughs> I know the Bucks were a wild card, but they were... I still think they're the fourth best team in the how NFL. How many Super Bowls has Aaron Rodgers been to? One. one. He won the one. They won as a wild card. It was a weird, fluky year. Brady's been to how many? <laughs> Ten. Nine. I think nine. Um, if the Bucks make it, they get a home game in the Super Bowl. Good luck. Which is bizarre. <laughs> I mean, good luck. I mean, I think the weirdest thing that could happen is Brady makes the Super Bowl with the Bucks. And loses. The Bills, no, oh, the Bills make the Super Bowl. And then Brady does one final FU to poor Buffalo. In the Super Bowl. <clears throat> yeah, that could happen. Because he's just... God, I mean... He has Buffalo's number on his It literally could record. happen. I mean, Jesus. He's not even in the same conference anymore. Wait, the Super Bowl's really in Tampa Bay? Yeah, it's in Tampa. But, yeah, no. The, the, the Bucks win, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think the Bucks are going to win. But I don't know. I mean, the Packers could easily win. They could. The Chiefs could easily win. I don't know. So... Uh, we could be 0 for 2, or we could be 2 for 2, or we could be 1 for 2, I guess. I have to say, this year, these normally the championship games, I think, are, like, easier to pick, but all four uh, teams are just very competitive. Sometimes you get, like, a like a 
you know, a team gets on a roll, but they're not very good overall, and they make the conference championship. <sighs> These teams are just, I mean, the Bucks are so stacked offensively. And they got Brady. The mm. Packers are the best offense in the league. The Bills, I think, are the best overall team, followed by the Chiefs. So, yeah, I would agree. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I think the difference in the Bills Chiefs game is just it's a healthy Josh Allen against a with a you know a gimpy Patrick Mahomes, and even though he cleared protocol, he still got that that toe injury. Yeah, so, and he likes to move around, too, on the field. He which, ain't moving around this time. It'll be interesting to see how much scrambling he, he, he does. Can't. First of all, they're not going to because he got a concussion on or a pinched nerve on the play that they had him scramble out on. Mm. So I, I would be stunned if they call that again. And, yeah, and then in the NFC game, I mean, I don't know. Brady doesn't really run around that much. No, but he, he moves his footwork in the pocket. He does it better than anybody I've ever seen. Him and Rodgers are... They're both good QBs. Brady's just better. Yeah. Well, Brady's the best quarterback of all time. I mean, it's not it's, fair. There's no question. <laughs> there's no comparing. I mean, it's, it, you know, you got a lot of luck, too. But God, if they got the home is. game, what that would be something else for Brady, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll, I mean, regardless. I mean, it doesn't really matter what the guy does. He's the best ever, no matter what, at this point. He's seen it all, and he's, he's played He's so far all. above everybody else that nobody's ever going to. Surpass him. And just, it's impossible. I mean, who the hell is going to make nine Super Bowls and win six of them? Yeah, I don't know what the weather in Green Bay is going to be like this weekend. Cold. That's the other thing is it's going to be very cold, and Tampa Bay has never won a cold game. Well, they won, they won one. Luckily for uh, a man called Tom playoffs, Brady, who knows what he's doing in the cold. I don't put much stock into that. That's a fluky. Brady plays better in the cold. That's just one of those stats that's true until it's not. Right. You know, I think they're like one in thirty-five in the cold or oh, something. Oh, the box are. Yeah, when it's under <laughs> thirty degrees, I think. Well, definitely, something like it probably that. will be under thirty. But there. it's just one of those stats that's like <laughs> meaningless. Meaningless. It could be the same thing in Kansas City. It could be freezing there too. So, I don't put any stock in that. No, it doesn't really mean anything, honestly. But well, whatever. All right, so we'll see what happens, and then we'll predict the Super Bowl, I guess. Whoever. Advances on. All right, this is Ryzen and Lids. Thanks for watching. Take care.